Hello everyone, I'm Jack Dennis and I'm here in Southern Alberta. We're out to catch some big rainbows here and I'm with a legend in still water fishing, Brian Chan. He's one of the best fly tires I've ever known. His patterns are well known to anybody who's cast a fly in the lake. You're sometimes known as Mr. Coronamid, aren't you? <laughs> well, I do have a fondness for fishing uh, Coronamid pupa. For those of you that are just getting into lake fishing, you've heard of midges. That's coronamids, isn't it? Absolutely, yep. Besides being a well-known fly fisher, you have another job, don't you? You're a biologist, too. Uh, I you? have a real job. I have a real life. I, I'm a practicing fisheries biologist. I like when you say practice. <laughs> <laughs> uh, it's serious. Brian's going to show us his secrets of tying some of his favorite patterns, but he's also going to tell us how he fishes them. We're gonna go on an adventure, I call it an adventure, a fly tying adventure with a little bit of fishing. So let's take it away and which is your first pattern you're gonna tie for us? First pattern we're gonna tie today, Jack, is called the baby damsel fly down. Not a coronamid? No, I'm really. saving, saving them for later. So I'm saving the best. They'll be life. there, they'll be there. <laughs> <laughs> Boy, you couldn't have asked for a better time. Look, it is beautiful out, it's May, and it isn't snowing. <laughs> and see what's flying around? Oh, I can see them. <laughs> and I know what you want to do. You don't want to talk about this, you want to go fishing. But before you go fishing, you got to do work. Absolutely. you got to tie a fly. So let's go to the vise with Brian Chan. We've just spent a few hours on the lake. It's time to get back to the tying bench. And so I'm gonna start off with showing you one of my favorite damselfly patterns called the baby damselfly nymph. We're gonna be tying the fly on a number 10 to 16 curved caddis shrimp hook. We've got a very small uh, gold metal bead for the bead head. We're using a dot olive tying thread and I'm just gonna form a base of tying thread right now. The reason why I like to use baby or juvenile damselfly nymphs is that damselfly nymphs can spend up to two years in the nymphal stage. And so trout will seek out the juvenile or immature stages of the nymphs as these nymphs live in amongst the uh, long stem bulrush and cattails in the lake. And so if they live for two years, that means they're available 365 days of the year. And so it's always good to have some small juvenile nymphs. It's surprising how many times you could do a throat pump of a fish during the late spring to early summer period and see the baby nymphs in their throat so you know they're eating them. So I'm gonna be using Stillwater Solutions Strong Marabou, uh, dark olive, and that's gonna form the entire uh, body of the fly. And then I'll be ribbing it with some fine gold wire. So now that we've got our base thread down, I'm just gonna take some of the of the marabou fibers and I'm going to uh, pull off about a quarter of an inch of it off the stem and just pull like that and we end up with uh, an even length of the marabou fibers and I'm just going to tie that in for the tail like so and I'll adjust the tail when we finish and then I'm going to take uh, our gold wire in at the bend of the hook and just walk that down and then just bring my tying thread forward. And then I'm just going to wet my thumb and index finger and I'm going to twist the marabou together so we get a nice segmented strung marabou and I'm going to wind forward to the gold bead, tie that off, and now I'm just going to take the gold wire and wind a rib through the body of the fly. The beauty of working with marabou and this fly is that marabou breathes in the water when you either retrieve it or wind drift it or even hang this fly under a strike indicator. So it pulses, undulates naturally in the water. 
and it's so it provides very lifelike action. So I'm just going to trim, the, break off a few of these fibers to make sure the same even length. So I'm just going to finish the fly off using a, a whip finisher. There we go. So there we have the finished fly, relatively simple to tie. It's the pattern, it's the material, the marabou that breathes in the water. A, a color selection of white olive to dark olive, fished with floating lines, sinking leaders, floating lines and strike indicators suspended below an indicator or an intermediate or slow sinking lines. But we're going to be fishing the pattern close to some structure, long stem bulrush cattails, where the real baby damselfly nymphs live.